Hello everyone, Base Golly here, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another GT Sport video. So on the day of recording this, it's a Saturday which means it's time for the Nations Cup. Now I'm looking forward to this, I do like the Nations Cup, just being able to pick um, what car you like, but unfortunately, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible, I mean, Brands Hatch, an Integra, 12 laps, hard tyres, no pit stops, nothing to worry about fuel wise. It's just a bit boring, guys. Do you not, do you not agree with me? Is, is there some people out there that actually like these races? Because for me, it's just a bit dull and it just lacks a bit of imagination, I think. Let, you know, you guys tell me what you think in the comments. It's my, you know, you might absolutely love these races, but for me, it's just not my cup of tea. So we're going to jump straight into qualifying then. So I've set one lap already, a 148 flat. Now my best in practice was 147 flat. Now I'll admit, I'll hold my hands up and say I'm not particularly quick in this car, this is the first time I've ever really driven it. Um, I've driven this circuit plenty of times, so I know it, uh, like the back of my hand, but I just haven't really used this car. So this is an Integra, I believe it's from 1992, I might be wrong on that, maybe 90, I'm not quite sure. But as we go through the first sector then, uh, just over two temps up there, which is awesome to see. We're just going to get ourselves ready uh, for Pilgrim's Drop now. We're just going to go through it here under the bridge. I am on the back of the Spaniard here, so I do have the slipstream, which is... Excellent. Any temps I can make up will be fantastic. Four temps up through the middle sector then. Cutting the grass as you need to uh, to get the maximum out of this track. Just to go through uh, Westfield Bend. This one here, so easy to go wide. Go on the gravel and then it's game over. Now I had an opportunity here to overtake but this is qualifying. I didn't want to do that. This guy didn't seem too slow so let's just stay behind him um, and just fingers crossed he has a good final sector because I'm up. I'm four temps up. Uh, nearly four and a half now, so I don't want to be fighting with this guy. I just want to get across the line here with my improvement because we're only a second behind of P1. So if we improve by four temps, that might shoot us up quite a bit in this lobby. This is a very high rated lobby, as the A plus rated lobbies are. Uh, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that four temps should make a big difference. So we're about to cross the line here again, getting a slipstream from the Integra in front of us. So we're going to cross the line. What are we going to get? A 147.6, and that puts us up to eighth. But as we cross the line, and so does everyone else, we eventually drop ourselves down to P10. Not particularly great, halfway in the field, but I'll take it considering uh, the lack of practice and you know just overall feel for it. You know when you you feel pumped up and excited and you can't wait for a race, you kind of I don't know you put more effort into it. I feel and I, this one I just don't think I felt like I could give it 110 percent because I wasn't really I wasn't enjoying it. So it's just one of those things where I wasn't really enjoying it. So we're on the start line then. Um, waiting for the five red lights, put the tracks control setting to one, waiting for the red lights to go out, and there they go. Pretty good launch, I'd say. Take tracks control off, now we're actually underway. The German here gets a slow start. I try to go for a move on the inside, but he's blocked that off. Fair play, uh, we'll have to wait for the next opportunity. So we go through this corner then, uh, Paddock Hill Bend, obviously very famous for <laughs> the massive gravel trap on the left hand side. Going to go for the right hander here, nice and tight through Druids. I don't know whether it's potentially worth a move up the inside here but he hangs it around the outside nice defended by him we will keep p10 the main thing here is that we haven't lost any positions from the start confidence is low so we'll have to work on it as we go along but so far so good i haven't dropped any positions which is great to see and it looks like there's going to be opportunity on the inside here as we go through 30s and he's just again he's just gonna hang around the outside i get a bit of a better launch i feel because the german in front of me goes a little bit slow so i'm going to go to the right hand side and this is important, can I get my nose just in front here to make sure that I can get this position up to P9? We go side by side, but is it going to be enough as we go through Hawthorne Bend? It might be, I break late, but this guy comes across. Awesome defending, fair play uh, by the German. Well deserved to keep that P9. It has dropped me back a little bit, so I'm going to have to be careful. Uh, I've got Booby raised behind me and then a Spaniard behind him as well. So we'll have to be uh, cautious of them because if we try and go for a move and we don't make it this car feels so slow uh, it's really hard to get back up to pace again and trying to defend your position so we'll have to be wary of that okay through this left hander here um you can go third gear it's probably the most optimal gear you can go fourth gear maybe for a bit of stability but as you go down um the straight you do lose quite a bit of speed so probably recommend third gear now a lot of people you see on the grass they, they cut the grass on the left hand side to get a nicer entry to the right hand side now i decided to go against that because it was the opening lap and my confidence was a bit low and you can see that is giving boo boo racing the opportunity to get right up beside me 
and go for a move on the inside, to which he's about to do. So he shoots up the inside. Good move. Fair play. Now you're going to see here, look at the radar. The Spaniard behind yeah. me hits me, goes off the track to overtake me, hits me again. I go in the gravel and I drop all the way back to P20. What the hell was that? That was absolutely awful racing. So let's just watch this again. So he's going to go into the back of me here. So here you go. Bang. There's one there. Goes off the track to overtake me. Hits me off. And then he gets a five second penalty. Now that five second penalty, thoroughly deserved. But for racecraft, that's appalling. That's appalling. You hit me. You overtake me off the track. And then you force me off the track. Just honestly. Just rubbish, mate. Just absolutely rubbish. No words. So anyways, lap four. Um... <laughs> P20, thankfully the Frenchman um, serves a penalty, it puts us up to P19, now Marisonic's going to go a little bit deep, ends up going wide, so I'm going to sneak up on the inside here if I can, which I just about do, but he's going to have to slip stream to the Spaniard, but I think I'm going to have enough here, this looks good, so I don't think we have to worry about that much, so now we're up to P18 again, I will apologise that this video doesn't have too much racing in it, unfortunately, um, because yeah, there's a few incidents in this, and uh, yeah, that's probably the main talking point, and I do apologise because I don't, don't like slating this game or players on this game too much. But when things like this happen, you, you've got to. You've got. You've got to make. You got, I've got to make the video. There's no way I can't. Uh, you, you've got to name these players. You've got to shame them. The people that drive like this. You've got to. Anyways, lap six. You can see the Italian's gone wide. He's hit the gravel, and we move up to P17. So we're behind the Spaniard, uh, R70 uh, Adir. Now there's a few R70 players in here, so. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if they're working as a team or not. I hope not. There's a, get a little bit of a skip frame there. Apologies. So we're going to go through here on the left-hand side. The Brit goes defensive, completely blocks the Spaniard. Now we've got CGT Maximus. Now keep an eye out for this guy because he is horrendous. As this Spaniard here, this R70 guy, just completely ignores the fact I'm on the left-hand side. And closes the door on me, and I've got nowhere to go. Now I'm going to hold. I'm going to defend myself here. So let's go over the replay because a few people went out. So you can see him here. Now he goes over the left-hand side um, when I'm already there, and I've got nowhere to go. So I do cause an incident there as such, but I just had nowhere to go, guys. You let me know in the comments. I had nowhere to go on that one. He's closed the door on me, and yeah, if it's my, if it's, if you think it's my fault, then please let me know. I'll hold my hands up, uh, and I will apologise. But I think on that one, I think I'm clear. Anyways, through this corner here, you can see the Spaniard um, just leaves the door open. I'm going to shoot up the inside. But he has like, this weird glitch. Like, he does like a moonwalk in a car. Bizarre. I've never seen that kind of thing before. So he kind of lags back. Um, and you can see there's just a gaggle of cars now behind me. So we go through this left-hander. But stupidly, I don't change down to third gear. And I'm so, so slow. So the, the uh, Spaniard behind me gets a nice move up the inside, finds the space. He looks for it. But I just managed to outbreak him a little bit, but he's got the inside for the next corner. And if you just look, guys, look at the radar on this straight. Look how many people are fighting. Look, I think I could see seven people. Six, seven people on the radar. Absolutely insane. So we go through here once more, Paddock Hill Bend. I was so petrified of being knocked wide here, but we weren't. So we're going to go now um, through Druid. So we break late just to see if we can go around the outside and just get absolutely yeeted from the Spaniard from earlier absolutely destroyed he had no interest in this race so let's watch this replay again just watch the radar he's going straight and then bang gets back on the throttle turns to the left absolutely annihilates me what the hell is that so let's jump on board then so he's getting a little bit battered from people around him fair play now I'm not sure if he just sees red or something but he's going perfectly fine he brakes, and then he lets go of the brakes, accelerates, and just pile drives me into the left-hand side. Why? Like, why? I think, I think from the previous instance, he thinks it's my fault. And he's right at the back, he doesn't care. And he's just slammed into the back of me. But it's just... Yeah, and that was it, guys. That was it, and I'm really sorry. And I've, I managed to finish P19. I got so fed up, I went to the pits on lap 11. Because I was just bored. I was just so far behind. I was just so far behind from that, I just couldn't catch anyone up. Um, tires were gone, so I went to the pits, it was just too late, and finished P19 in the end, but yeah, frustrating video, guys, really sorry about that. But yeah, please let me know in the comments what you think, whether it was my fault or not, I'll hold my hands up if it is, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that regardless, if you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you are new around here, and I'll catch you for the next one, take care, ta-da!